A lot of people wanted to make the comparison Jeter and MJ. Uh, you know, some people were tweeting it about, about it. You know, they were winning is the only thing that matters. Uh, you know, tireless work and, and long careers. I mean, Jeter had a 20 year career. I, Jeter's also charismatic. Like he could drop a joke and be a little sassy in his interview, especially when Kim Jones and him really got like a rapport. She really brought out like a, a humorous side of Jeter, I thought, in his postgame interviews. But well, do you see any similarities? Do you think Jeter led in, in, in that way? Was he tough on his teammates? Or was it just lead by example and try to keep up? I'll give you my answer in a second. But I'm going to tell you that I, I interviewed Mattingly a couple of weeks ago. Mattingly obviously saw a little of Jeter in 95. Then as a coach, obviously saw him again. Now works for him with the Marlins. Mattingly is a big Jordan fan and Mattingly in his own way was, was Jordan esque in New York for a while. He, he talked about how he understood in the last dance where Jordan was, I'm just staying in my hotel room cause I can't go out. Mattingly said that Jeter reminded him of Jordan, that he saw a lot of similarities. And I think John boy, that you just hit on some of those similarities. I think the single mindedness, I think the focus, I think the get the heck out of my way. We're winning this game. I think where there was a difference is that Jeter's leadership style from what I observed and have heard from teammates was more lead by example. I'm not going to say that in his 20 year career, Jeter never got in a player's face because he did. He got in David Wells's face once after Wells kind of threw his hands up in the air when, when a ball fell between a, a few fielders from that footage, it seemed like this was not only a daily occurrence with Jordan, this was multiple times a day. I'm going to ride you. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to make you feel like you're like you're worthless because when the crunch time comes, I need you to be tough. I don't think Jeter did that. I don't think that was in yeah. Jeter's DNA to, to do what we saw Jordan do over and over again. Yeah, that, that Jordan Bernie dynamic would have been a really interesting one. Those uh, <laughs> <laughs> different ends of the spectrum there to say the least, you know, I, I I hadn't thought about that, but that's that's a very interesting call by you. Bernie did not react well when a, when a thug like Mel Hall was was trying to get him to be a certain way. But Mel Hall was doing it more out of viciousness. I think that if Michael Jordan, let's say Michael Jordan in basketball was Michael Jordan in baseball, and if he said to Bernie, Bernie, man, you got you got to get a bigger secondary lead, man. We don't need you to be cement shoes over there at first base mm. you, you ran track in puerto rico you're the fastest guy on <laughs> the team get a bigger secondary lead i think bernie would have reacted well to that it was the bernie you're wearing funny glasses and you look like you should be in a librarian <laughs> jabs from mel hall that that bernie didn't appreciate and nobody should why should anybody appreciate that yeah it's also just such a different dynamic with basketball like you know jordan their practices were games and they yeah. played against each other. It's not like baseball. You, you just, you know, maybe in spring training, you do live BP, but even that's a little different, but it, it, that leads it to just, you know, you can't do it. But also I, Jeter never seemed like from all the stories you hear is more guys would come over, think he was overrated, not get it. And then just see him, his day to day and his schedule. And you hear so many players say like, Hey, once I played with him, I really, re I really appreciated what he does day in and day out. I used to always tell people that when, when he and A-Rod were side by side, and if you look at A-Rod statistically, his numbers dwarf Jeter's numbers. I mean, a, a shortstop that puts up those power numbers. I thought A-Rod was the more talented player, but I thought Jeter was the better baseball player. And I, and I think anybody who watches baseball and understands baseball knows exactly what, what I'm saying, that – Jeter just had a knack for knowing what the right thing was to do instinctually and, and making the right play and being in the right place, flip play, i.e. But about what you said about Jordan, too, is I just think there's more of a way in basketball to lead where you get in somebody's face. With 15 seconds left, he was getting the ball. How many times were the Yankees trailing by one run in the ninth inning and Jeter's not even getting it at bat? I just think yeah. there's a different way in basketball when you – you're touching the ball on every possession. You're going to have to sort of drag guys along with you. I don't know if that exists in baseball because of what I just said. Baseball is its own biggest bully in a way, too. Like, the game is going to beat you up. You're yeah. going to go 0 for 20. You're mm -hmm. going to go 0 for 4 in a day. If you had another guy, 
just rubbing that in every time it happened. You'd snap. Yeah. You'd snap like crazy. It's a great know? point. So that's crazy. For for it's all crazy. for all our analytical listeners that just heard Jeter's a better baseball player than A Rod that are coming back from their heart attack, it's okay. You're gonna be okay. <laughs> um, and I would I think, argue uh, that, by the way, I, I would argue that, and I would have I, I I would have a lot of evidence to support what I the point I was trying to make. But I I know what you're saying and, as well. And, Jack, no, I think that, day I think day in day out Jeter did more to help his team win than A Rod did. Because it's so many untangibles and so much like, hey, if Jeter's locked in for every single at bat, I better be locked in for right. every single at bat. And if Jeter's backing up the throw every single time, I better do it, you know, and stuff like that really changes the whole team. It matters. I agree. 